NBC Universal chairman apologizing in an email to employees this week, saying, quote, I want to personally apologize to our team members who felt we let them down. While this was a collective recommendation by some members of our leadership team, I approved it and take full responsibility for it. Wow, what an email. Monica, your thoughts? This is completely insane. The inmates are running the asylum, yeah. not just at NBC News, but in most companies these days, because they are so afraid of exactly this kind of reaction, of having, whether it's on-air people or younger people who work for the company on social media, expressing outrage, generating social media mobs to boycott the company, etc. So the people in charge who actually made this decision to hire Rana in the first place are now cowering in the corner. They let her go. I don't know if she's got a lawsuit here for breach of contract. She says, she's, hired, she says she's hired a lawyer. She, well, I good. hope so. Good and I hope she wins. But, all I mean, over town. God yeah. forbid NBC has one Republican on the payroll. God forbid yep. they have one dissenting voice in their entire network. This is a form of tyranny where you don't have freedom of speech. You don't have contrasting right. viewpoints. They suppress anybody who has any kind of outside opinion. You know, it's inc incredible, to your point, was in that same email that the boss sends out apologizing to everybody. He says, we want diversity of speech. Right. We, oh. we are going to keep our commitment of <laughs> diverse not. voices, which is not this time, Tiffany. Yeah, it, it's not bold. You know, they're on there saying, like, oh, this is a bold, strong, courageous decision. It's none of that. Um, in fact, it's really unfortunate that that is where we are in our country today. Um, even though NBC may disagree with Rana. Um, to act like she has no insight or something to offer the organization is just absolutely absurd. When she was the chairman of the RNC, yes. she understands the, the Republican Party, but they don't want to hear anything about the Republican Party. No, no. And, and the, the one thing that really jumps out at me is that um, her agents uh, have dropped her because they're afraid of the cabal as well. Creative Arts Agency, CAA, says, sorry, Rana, you know, it was nice working with you, but, you know, we, we don't want to get caught up in this. I, I mean, God forbid you go against the cabal, you know, and you say something that um, you, you take a conservative viewpoint. Um, you are going to have to uh, pay f dearly for I, that. I want to know more about that, um, yeah. uh, about that part of the story. Yeah. You're right. It, it's it's, weird. it's uh, weird. Meanwhile, there's Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced attorney and entrepreneur Nicole Shanahan as his running mate yesterday. Trump posted on Truth Social about it. He said this overnight, uh, saying, quote, his running mate, Nicole Shanahan, is even more liberal than him, if that's possible. Kennedy is a radical left Democrat and always will be. He is crooked Joe Biden's political opponent, not mine. I love that he is running. I wonder, Monica, will, will RFK take votes from Joe Biden or Donald Trump or both? Well, I think to this point, we have seen Bobby Kennedy taking probably equally from both Trump and Biden, um, probably a little bit more from Joe Biden, because there are a lot of disaffected Democrats who are just aware of this historic yeah. catastrophe under Biden. But I think right. with this choice of Nicole Shanahan, who comes out of Silicon Valley, although she has been critical of big tech, but I think a lot a lot of people are going to see this ticket as more progressive. So I think in the end, it's going to end up pulling more from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris than Donald Trump. That's why Trump is celebrating. You would think so. Sergey Brin's ex-wife. Yes. Right? Uh, your thoughts, yes. Tiffany. Yeah, you know, I the DNC and then Joe Biden and his campaign have tried to sort of ignore RFK Jr. And, and now they simply can't. Yeah. Um, I think he pulls from the president. He's appealing. He just, you know, Shanahan is young. Um, she's everything that the American dream that we aspire to in this country. So she could pull, you know, more younger voters over to her side versus Biden. Um, I think the verdict's still out, you know, whether she will be able to do that. But it, it's it, quite interesting. It's outrageous that, that Biden will not approve uh, uh, him to get uh, oh, absolutely. protection. Protection. Yeah, protection. That's wrong. Incredible. Uh, that, that really is. Yes. Um, well, that's putting the squeeze on because that's the way the Dems do it. They, they, won't, they won't do any deba debates return. either, Adam. No, there will be no course. debate between Joe not. Biden and RFK. He's not the people who care about it. democracy but aren't going to have debates in yeah. front of the American people. No. Well, look at the difference between the Joe Biden we saw at the State of the Union and the Joe Biden we've seen every day since. No energy, unable to uh, connect sentences, uh, seemingly lost. You wonder, what happened at the State of the Union? I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him an IV that had electrolytes and sugar, et cetera, mm. because he was on that night. Yeah. But when you see him on most days, he is not. He is terribly off, and that is why he will not debate.